Bluetooth beacons continue to get a lot of press in tech circles, and the topic is spreading quickly through the world of digital marketers. However, in chatting with people about beacons, I find there are still some misconceptions around how exactly beacons work, and what they can and cannot do. A Bluetooth beacon is a small electronic device. It typically runs on small batteries. Since we first started hearing about these guys last summer at the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference, a dozen or more different beacon brands have popped up and the devices come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So what can a beacon do or not do? The beacon's sole purpose in life is to broadcast its ID number over and over again all day long. It doesn't listen to anything, it doesn't gather information on other devices nearby, it doesn't connect to the internet to report anything. It simply emits Bluetooth signals that carry little packets of numbers. The IDs or numbers beacons emit can be picked up by any Bluetooth-enabled mobile devices within range of the beacon's Bluetooth radio signals. However, unless the mobile devices near a beacon have Bluetooth enabled and they have an app that cares about beacons, the signals from the beacons will go unnoticed. The key thing to remember is that a standard Bluetooth beacon will only yammer on and on about itself and do absolutely nothing else. So what can you do with a beacon? For a beacon to be useful, you need a mobile device with a beacon-enabled app. If a mobile device passes within range of one or more beacons and the device's Bluetooth features are switched on, the device can listen in on the signals from those nearby beacons and gather their IDs. But like stated before, in order to do something useful with those beacon IDs, the mobile device needs an app that is capable of responding to those beacon IDs. Just to be clear, without a beacon-enabled app, mobile devices will ignore the signals from any nearby Bluetooth beacons. With a proper beacon-enabled app and Bluetooth running on our mobile device, we can do a lot of cool things with this technology. The big one everyone is all giddy about is microlocation. The idea around this is that if your mobile device can see a number of beacons and determine how far away it is from each of them, it should be able to calculate its location with reasonable accuracy. It's the same concept as GPS and, in fact, is meant to replace GPS indoors where GPS signals do not typically reach. The core use for beacons, of course, is simply for proximity. When a customer walks up to a display that contains a beacon, the store's mobile app will see the beacon and then perhaps pop up a notification on the customer's device that offers more information or special offers on the products they're currently looking at. It can happen in real time and it makes the in-store experience seem more interactive. Hopefully now you can see that without an app, a beacon is useless. Also, you should now know that beacons don't spy on nearby phones. They don't control things. They simply broadcast their packet, just like a lighthouse shines its light for ships passing by. The lighthouse doesn't look for ships to light up. The lighthouse simply shines its light around and around all day, every day. It's the job of the ships passing by to react to the light if need be. There are so many uses for a simple proximity notification technology like beacons. It's going to be very interesting to see what digital marketers come up with around these nifty little gadgets. Stay tuned.